it's Ryan again. So far, we've created a new project in Board, and we've customized the board to match our workflow by adding a new column. In this tutorial, we'll introduce the idea of quick filters and swim lanes. Both are additional ways to customize the view of the board and are useful because they allow you to see only those issues that are important to you. Let's get started. What are quick filters and swim lanes? In short, both are ways to manage how issues appear on your board. Let's talk about quick filters first. With large teams or projects, the sprint backlog can be an overwhelming place. This is especially true at the beginning of a sprint, when all your team's issues are visible on the backlog and awaiting completion. Quick filters make it easy to find the issues that are most important to you and other members on your team. They filter through all the issues and return only those that you ask for. By default, all Jira software boards contain two filters, only my issues and recently updated issues. These filters do exactly what they say and show you only the issues that belong to you or were recently updated by you or a teammate. When you click on Only My Issues, your issues appear. When other members of your team click on the Only My Issues quick filter, their issues appear. Add additional filters as you need. Here are a few of them that my team uses to give you an idea. Issues by department, design, development, or content. Issues created or updated in the past seven days. Unassigned issues. And finally, issues by specific teammates. Let's set up a filter of our own now. If you're working with a new project, you may not have any issues to filter just yet. But as part of your initial project setup, you may find it helpful to create some quick filters in advance. That's what we're going to do here. To add a quick filter, from your backlog, click More, then Board Settings. Select the Quick Filters link. Let's start with an easy one. Create a quick filter for all issues that have critical priority. We'll name the filter Critical. In the JQL edit box, enter Priority equals Critical. Give your query a description and click Add to create your filter. Now, you can view all critical issues and your teammates have access to this filter as well. Remember, quick filters are specific to the board, not to the team member. So all of your teammates will be able to use the quick filters. Also, keep in mind that quick filters need issues to filter. When you first create your project, there aren't any issues. So running a quick filter won't return any. As your project fills with issues, the quick filters will be able to do their magic. Creating quick filters is a restricted operation. The board administrator or JIRA administrator creates them. Think of it. If anyone could create a quick filter, your board would become littered with them, making distinguishing between them pretty difficult. JIRA query language is a search language that searches for issues. It's the engine that powers all queries and filters in JIRA software and works across all JIRA products. If you're interested in learning more about JQL, explore our series of tutorials on using JIRA query language or check the documentation and Atlassian blogs. We've talked about quick filters. Now let's look at swim lanes. Quick filters and swim lanes are similar. Both allow you to see issues on your board in a more easily interpreted display. Whereas quick filters temporarily change the subset of issues displayed on your board, swim lanes invoke a more permanent change. Swim lanes group similar issues together horizontally by type or category. Let's go to the active sprints view of my team's board and look at a few swim lane examples. Here we use swim lanes to pull together items by importance. That way, we can see where our highest priority issues stand at a single glance. My team's board is set up to show issues labeled as blockers first, followed by critical issues, and then major issues. The rest of our issues are put into the everything else swim lane at the bottom of the board. This is the primary way we set up our swim lanes as a team. Another popular configuration is to group issues by assignee. 
That way we can see exactly what everyone is working on and their progress. This helps us watch out for bottlenecks and overloaded team members. To create a swim lane, go to your board, click More, then select Board Settings. Select the Swim Lanes link. Next, choose the criteria to define your swim lane. You can create swim lanes grouped together by queries, stories, assignees, epics, or projects. Let's select queries and give the swim lane a name. We'll call this one blockers. To create the query, click the JQL box and enter this query. Priority equals blocker. Once created, issues labeled as blockers will group together in a swim lane at the top of the board. Here's a tip. Don't get confused if you don't see a swim lane that you know should be there. Swim lanes don't show on the board until there's at least one issue that satisfies the criteria of the swim lane. Creating swim lanes is also a restricted operation. Like was the case for quick filters, it's the board administrator or jury administrator that creates swim lanes. Because everyone who uses the board sees the same swim lanes, only swim lanes that are useful for the entire team should be added. That's effectively enforced by restricting the ability to create them. Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own projects. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.